Hey guys, it's me Ashley, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make your own um, notepad. <clears throat> and the only thing you'll need, the ingredients you'll need is paper. I'm using lime paper because lime paper will be a little bit much better because you can write the stuff and you can still draw. But if you don't have lime paper and you just have white clear paper, it's fine. You can use, um, you can use, um, paper that is colored already for you to stick them on. Um, I'm not, I don't have colored paper anymore, so. Okay. First thing you want to do is you're going to want to get some paper. Um, I like to get a lot of paper when I'm making a notepad. Okay. Guys, I have in this, in my binder here, I have my BFFs in here. Yeah, like their names and stuff. And then I have pretty much drawings and other little kitty, of, you know, other things, Minecraft skins, um, color and sheets. And I have the code for colors. And And I have a little bit done. So you're gonna need somewhere where it's hard and smooth. Not that it's like smooth, um, but you have to have it hard. You can use a table for this. Yeah. Okay. So the first thing you want to do is you're gonna want to get the paper. I'm using lime paper because lime paper is way better to use. And um, you're gonna want to cut out the red line. You want to make a line. So, okay. First thing you want to do is the ingredients. You're going to need, not ingredients, but the supplies you need is paper. Glue, I'm using the Glitter Cream Palette and it's fabulous, sparkling, tinting, life with NYC. And it's just glitter and a sponge. You need some tape. You're going to need a pen. You're going to need a pencil. And you're gonna need a eraser and a scissors. And I might have to make part two for this video. I hope I don't, but you know that. Yeah. So the first thing you want to do is you're gonna to want to make a line on the red line showing you where you need to cut. Then cut. So once you have dividedly cut the paper, like this. It was like this, and now it's cut. You want to make sure you have a smooth line, and because if there isn't, make a line to where you need to still cut. There, make that line, and then cut that. So once you have dividedly cut that piece, you think it should look like this very skinny paper. Next thing you need to do is there's another red line. Cut that red line. Because you don't need that. So once you have dividedly cut it, all that red lines, you should have at least three scraps of paper. But if you really cut that good, you should only have two, which is the big piece, not those. So then you place the scrap paper somewhere else. <clears throat> then you need to is you're going to need to fold your paper, because you see how long it is? Fold that paper into half, like this. Then, open it up, and then <clears throat> fold that other paper into a line too. Oh, and me and my sister are going to be making churros and i'm gonna make sure to i'm not gonna record us making churros at home um but we are gonna be making churros but i'll do a video at the end where we already um we're gonna start tasting right we can't see her she's like up there. hi come over here come over here 
Okay. So then, what you're going to do is... You're going to need to cut that. And then once you have cut it, that is a full part. You're gonna make sure that they are lined up together. Because if they are not, then it can just be ruined. So you wanna make sure that they actually are like the same. And then, once they are all the same, you will have divided. And then, you're going to keep on cutting until you have the right exact pages. I'm going to do that. Hey guys, I'm back and I have dividedly cut it 20 pieces of paper. And this is 20 pieces from my notebook. And you have to get two more extras for the for the main, for the main um, part and the end part. So you're gonna grab one of your pieces and you want to. This is the part where you get to go all fun and stuff and get all wiggly whenever you want to. Ready? Um, <clears throat> you decorate the front of your thing. What I like to do is I like to make a heart in the middle. give it some glitter you should use a sponge for this um you can use loose glitter i'm just using this this um eyeshadow glitter thing here i'm using this one because it's a little bit more final fina financy and it can stick on a bit better than loose glitter but yeah, you know, you have to kind of wrestle with it and stuff to get a lot of your glitter on here. And if there is extra glitter at the outer, just get a piece of paper and just clean that extra glitter up. This glitter, you have to like push really hard to get some glitter, so. This glitter will get frustrating, but you know, try your best, try your best, try your best. I'm using a spongy for this because it came with it, so, you know, you know, use anything that, whatever glitter you got. You, if you're getting, if you barely just got loose glitter, you can use with your hands. This one's hard to use, so. Clean up the excess glitter. Clean up the excess glitter. Clean up. Clean up. Clean up the excess glitter. Okay. Then. You just go crazy and decorate, and I'll be back. That would really take a lot of time. So once you have decorated the back, the back part, <coughs> then what you're gonna need to do is you're gonna need to do the other side. Oh good. So once you have gotten some sides, the sides already. 
<clears throat> you're going to grab your paper and you're going to want to put in one this side and front side. And this is the part where you have to be really, really good. You have to get some tape. I'm using tape that is um, designed because you should use this design tape so you can get it better looking. Yeah, I don't know. Thing here. And this is the part where you have to go really, really good at. Papers will not to get there, so you have to feel it, feel it, until you get the right, 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 right edge. This will be hard to do if you never really done this, so I'm gonna get the hang of it real quick. So I am done with the journal. And it did take a little bit of time to get tape and stuff on it. So, at least I got it ready. And now you can open and write on it and do all that stuff with it. And, yeah. Okay, thank you guys for watching. Bye!